Before we start working on our function.js file, let's first include our style sheet here. After all of our meta tags, href will be CSS and our style sheet file is called core.css. And then before the closing body tag, we want to include two JavaScript files. First one will be our jQuery file. So JS, jQuery.js. And the next one will be our functions. So forward slash JS functions.js. Okay, our page seems to be ready now. Now let's open functions.js and we start with document.ready function. Okay. So now first we check if newsletter form is present. So dot length is more than zero. Then if it is, we use our element here, newsletter form on submit, we want to execute this function. Okay, within this function, first, we're going to use our element again, and with the class and then we pass the class w a r n, which will be used for the warning messages, and we want to remove all of them. Once the form has been submitted, all of the warning messages should be removed first. Then we create a variable fields equal this, which is a form, and we want to put all of our post um, fields into a array, so serialized array. This is a jQuery function, which basically puts all of the post fields into into array. Okay, now we're going to make our Ajax call. So dollar sign Ajax. We start with a type will be post. Then we have a URL, which will be inc form.php. We'll create this file in just a minute. Then we have data. Uh, we'll, we'll pass our fields array. Then we have data type, which will be JSON on success. We want to execute function data passes argument, then if it's error, we want to execute the other function. We don't need data, but let's put it in here as well. Okay, so first on success, what we're going to do is we first check if data error is true, then we're gonna do something else, we're gonna do something else. But before we go into process this JavaScript file here, this Ajax function, let's uh, first actually create our PHP uh, file. Uh, and then we go back to get back to our Ajax call. But before we do this, let's just write after the Ajax call type return false so that form actually doesn't reload the page or anything like that. Okay, so we create the new folder called inc. And inside of this folder, we, we, we create the file called form.php. Okay, let's move to the next video when we're going to be working on form.php in order to validate all of our form fields.